We are on the hunt for Freddie Funko as Eddie Munson in today's Funko Pop Mystery Box. So check this out. What is going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Jeremy. I'm really excited for today's mystery box, like no joke. Let me break it down. I, I'm, I'm extremely excited. So this top hit is Freddy Funko as Eddie from Stranger Things, okay? So um, I was gonna say little known fact, but it's not really a, I mean, I don't know why anyone would know it, but our first NFTs that we purchased packs for was Stranger Things. I wanted the Freddy Funko as Eddie Munson so bad. I wanted the royalty, but it was since I was so new to NFTs, I didn't really understand like how to like trade and having the drop marketplace actually has made it so much easier th to buy and sell. So at that point, that wasn't a thing. So I didn't really know how to trade cards to get the royalty because you had to get all the cards. So I kind of gave up and I only had the Dustin redeemable, which we did just do a video on. So Ralphie's Funhouse, I haven't even told you where this box is from. What is wrong with me? Ralphie's Funhouse did one of their small batch runs with Freddy Funko as Eddie as the top hit. It was $85 a box. There were 12 boxes. I will point out that uh, BK Phipps and Seth Floyd's Alchemy have already done a box on this or a video on this box a box on this video that makes no sense a video on this box and they both struck out they had some really cool hits though i will say that um so technically we have a one in ten shot because i haven't seen it i mean someone might have already hit it i have no idea i don't know but i know that they didn't hit it i also know that it's kind of like goofy feeling like wait i don't know Maybe I'm imagining it because I want the pop so bad, but it would be crazy to hit that. Like Eddie Munson from Stranger Things was my favorite character by far. I thought they did him dirty the way that like he had a good ending. The way that he went out was really good and like honorable, honorable to his family. And like, well, I don't think his family really... You gotta watch the show to understand what I'm talking about. But I did like how he left the show, but I, I always thought that they should have done it to someone else, like Mike. Like, get rid of Mike. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I would be super happy if we could pull that. Again, like I said, $85. This, Ralphie's been doing these, Ralphie's has been doing these small batch runs where they do like 10, 12, 14 boxes, 15 boxes. They've been a lot of fun. So speaking of Ralphies, before we get into that one, we are actually gonna do another Ralphies that I didn't realize I ordered and I felt kind of bad when it showed up because uh, BK Phipps actually asked if anyone wanted to do like a collaboration on this box. So this was the Social Media Freddy run and I didn't even realize I ordered it and it showed up and they already did their videos. I was like, man, I feel bad. So I'm gonna tag her below also for this one and the, the Eddie one. But I thought it'd be fun because it's a one pop mystery box. I think there was like 15 in this one. It was 35 bucks. So I was like, you know what? It was a Ralphie's box. Let's open it at the same time. Kind of like a mystery grail type of thing. We'll do it first. See if we can get that social media Freddy. See if we can pull two Freddies in one video. That would be nuts. Yeah. How does this open? Let's see. Man. Sometimes, I don't want to ruin it, but, okay, here we go. I think I got it. Who would have known that a box would best me? You've been bested by a box. All right, there's their sticker. I love Ralphies. They're so fun. Lots of great um, codes and stuff like, oh, it's an assorter. Okay. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have been struggling so much. All right, let. So this is just a one pop. But obviously, you're not gonna fit. Again, you're not gonna fit more than one in here. But like I was saying, I really like Ralphies. A lot of creators have like 
um, discount codes. I recommend using them. You get a pretty good discount. <clears throat> All right, <sighs> let's do the social media box first. Let me try to kind of loosen. I'm having a really hard time with boxes today. So I apologize. The, the other box should be a little easier because it's just a normal box. Who would have known? All right, let's do Social Media Freddy and see what we got. Let's go. Three, two, one. What did we get? Oh, okay. I mean, it's a popular, we didn't get the Social Media Freddy. I don't know anything about this 2016 pinhead. I don't, you already know this. I don't do horror, especially like, like, like supernatural. It's hard to explain. I don't do pinhead. Not for me. There's plenty of other horror movies I would watch before I would watch this one. I'll just leave it at that. I have no idea what this is worth. It's an old pop, 2016. So we'll check it at the end. It would have been cool to get the Social Media Freddy, but that might not be a bad hit. We'll see. I, I'm pretty sure it was guaranteed value, so it should be worth at least 35 bucks. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Don't quote me on it. Don't write it down and be like, Jeremy, you said on this date that that was a guaranteed value box. You lied to us. I'm sorry. All right. Let's get into what you came here for. The Freddy as Eddie. I've never got a top hit from a Ralphie's box. We don't open a ton of Ralphie's boxes, but let's see what we can do here. Lots of bubble wrap, which I'm good with that. I like bubble wrap. Did I mention how many pops? There's gonna be four pops in here. No hard stack. I don't think we got it, guys. Unless it's not a hard stack. It should be though, according to their description. But also all these are in protectors, which according to the description, they don't put them in protectors. Well, you know what? Let's just do, let's just get into it. All right, four pops in this box. We're gonna do the first pop. Let's go, three, two, one. Big Bang Theory, Sheldon Cooper, 2020. I love this show. Big Bang Theory is really funny. I know some of these pops are more valuable than others, as a lot of lines are. So some of the Big Bang Theory pops, they don't have much value at all. And some do. So that could be a, that could be a good hit. I'm not entirely sure. I know there's a few of them, like their cosplay ones, that are worth quite a bit. But I'm not sure on that one. All right. Let's do the second pop. <sighs> All right. Three, two, one. Jetsons. Jane Jetson. 2018. Man, I haven't seen the Jetsons in so long. This might be worth a little bit. Again, though, this is kind of one of those that it's hard... It's hard to tell because a lot of these like animation pops get like a lot of reprints. So this could be a pretty good, this could be a solid hit. I mean, you figure we're, we're at $85 box with four pops. We're going to get something somewhat decent. I, I hope at least. I have had one really bad Ralphie's box. Like it, the values were fine, but the pops that I hit in it were like <laughs> really bad. Like... I'll try to find it and link it above. It was pretty funny. All right, let's do the third pop. Three, two, one. Moon Man. I don't think these are worth much. Ad I it's an ad icon though, and I don't have this MTV Moon person. So I think these are neat looking. It's like the MTV logo. It's a fine pop. I think it's cool. It's a newer one, but I don't, I love ad icons. So regardless, I'm going to keep this one. It's a cool, he's got like the flowers on him. That's not bad, actually. I like, I'm always down to hit an ad icon. That's really cool. Okay, let's do the last pop. I don't think we got the Eddie. I was really hoping because it felt like one side was heavier than the other. So I thought, well, maybe it's a hard stack, but I don't think we did it. <clears throat> All right, let's do this last pop of this Ralphie's box. <laughs> Whew. All right. Three, two, one. Hey, that's really cool. <laughs> wow. This, I don't remember if, I think this is Scrappy-Doo that's like super expensive Funko Shop. Is it Scrappy-Doo? 
This is really cool. Regardless of the value, I could care less on the value. I would love, 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 love to finish the Scooby-Doo line. So we recently pulled the Fred, the autographed Fred, out of a mystery box. I'll link that one. <clears throat> this is cool. Like, again, I don't care what the value is. Definitely my top hit. scooby Dum. <sighs> Man, that's awesome. I love... I'm going to say it. You're, you already know what I'm going to say. If you can pull a pop from a mystery box that you add to your collection, that is a good day. We are adding this to our collection for sure. So we're adding two. Two out of four. 50%. That's awesome. Man, that is so cool. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. All right. Let's check the values. I'm going to be right back. All right. We are back with some values. So... Kind of a little bit of a stinker. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here in a second. It it doesn't really stink that bad because we're adding two of these pops to our collection, but we'll explain here in a second. So let me get a little organized here. I should have done this sooner, but you know, I apologize. All right, first let's do our social media box. So this pop, this pinhead pop, like I said, not a pop for me. But pretty good value, $41 for this. So that's actually really good. I just don't, I don't do horror. So this will definitely be going up for trade. Let me know. Um, I mean, yeah, I just, it's not for me. $41 though is, is really good value. I wondered if it was going to be a decent value because it's an older pop and it's a popular like horror line. So that's not bad. All right, let's do the, okay, the Eddie box. Little bit of a bummer. Something, something change in value. So let me just put it at that. Let's run through them. Okay, Jane was our lowest pop, which kind of surprised me. Like I said, though, these, like a lot of these Jetsons and stuff like this, they get some reprints. This one's not a crazy old pop, 2018. So this one was $11. So not terrible. It's a neat pop. The Jetsons are always popular. Everyone's always like the, everyone. Everyone likes the Jetsons. Okay, Moon Person, which I'm keeping. It's going to go in my ad icons. This one was twelve dollars. I expected as much because it's a brand new pop. It's got the the new Funko on it. It's got the blue label on the bottom. Brand spanking new. So twelve bucks for that. Not too bad. All right. I'm wondering if Sheldon changed in value. I didn't check too much, but Sheldon comes in at $17. So you can kind of see where we're going with this. $17. So not bad though, but I'm wondering, I'll have to check later to see if that changed, if that maybe took a dip in value, which is a risk when you buy a mystery box. This is, this is not me complaining. This is just me uh, sort of complaining. But I'm not complaining towards Ralphie's. Like, it does stink. Let me just give you a spoiler. We didn't hit value, okay? But I guarantee you, I've never had issues not hitting value with Ralphie's. So I guarantee something changed in value. But this pop is fantastic. Like, I love this pop. So I don't even care. Like, that's why it's not really a complaint. This Scooby Dum was $41. The other thing that might have happened was the special edition sticker, which we don't have has a PPG of $46, which would have put us over value. So I'm wondering if either Ralphie's used the special edition value or if something did change or fluctuate a little bit. So <clears throat> it doesn't matter. It, it, it's fine. We're close enough. We're at $81. So I'm pretty sure we paid 85. The other thing though, I will point out, we did use a discount code. So technically we're ahead, but technically we're not ahead. So Again, though, I'm thrilled. I want to finish the Scooby-Doo line. I don't know why I just got like closer to the camera. Like I don't know what I was doing there. But I would love to finish Scooby-Doo. I didn't check condition on this. But this is just one step closer. So that's... I'm good. I'm completely fine with that. Yeah, this is great. Minty. Well, as I said, minty, I looked at the back. There's a little bit of a crease right there. But that's okay. Because it's on the back side. doesn't matter to me. That's awesome. We got an ad icon. We got a Scooby-Doo pop. We didn't hit value. 
it, it happens sometimes. You know, if you get a box that's riding right on the edge and something fluctuates a little bit, just be prepared, like Scar. Just be prepared. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch the video. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, check out our Patreon, Mercari, lots of great stuff going on on both. I don't know. Let me know if you ever got a, a box that didn't hit value and how you felt about it. And let me know what your favorite poll of the day was. Again, thank you for watching. Remember to be kind to each other. Remember to smile. And just have a good day.